you brought to for um, ITSM, it's 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 limitless. Um, the interaction between the other products that they develop, um, that that whole ecosystem, it just works so well together. You're only limited by your imagination. I I I, I really do believe that because the more we're able to, um, it, it's so open. Um, you can design for anything. So that's why it has to be a body for me. My name is Taj McClone. I work for Double Voice in Plimpton. Uh, we are a global law firm. Um, uh, we are based in New York over in the Hudson Yards area. And uh, we have offices both domestic as well as um, international. I manage the technology support services department, which is um, our call center support staff, as well as our desk side support staff, um, mobility support, um, some application support, and um, also some of our AV technology. So we've been a long-term Avanti customer. Uh, well, we were a customer with one of the products prior to Avanti purchasing. So we were heat um, customers very long ago. So the way things what kind of structured prior to going to ISM um, was it was it was specifically a, a help desk tool. Um, the way we utilized heat, um, everyone always saw it as the, the the tool that the help desk uses to to create tickets, and that's always been a, a, a bit of a a point of to me. Um, it it kind of minimizes the the role of the actual tool itself because it. It basically just makes it a note-taking tool, and um, the way I envisioned it, envisioned it before I rolled it out was that it was a tool for the entire IS department and beyond. So um, the the goal is to ultimately take it to other departments so that we can utilize it for capturing their stories. Because to me, um, uh, an incident or a service request is a story. It's it's that's how you document the difficulties that your users have. Um, and if you, if you were to pull the history of someone's incidents throughout their time at your company, you'll actually see that it, it tells a story of, of their problems and their, their, their difficulties throughout that time. And so um, it's really important um, to me so that I made sure that when we were developing the new ISM product for our environment, we made sure that we got buy-in from everyone. Um, so that it wasn't just siloed to being a tool for the help desk anymore. It was a tool for the, it was an enterprise level tool for the entire company so that um, we can capture that story better. The problems that we were trying to solve by adopting ISM was, it was actually quite a few problems. One was uh, capturing accurate information, making sure that the agents taking the calls had an, a, a usable tool to assist them in that endeavor, meaning having a functional knowledge base, um, having templates that were easier to access, and having a product that was just so much more flexible um, so that as things progressed and changed, because everybody knows technology changes hourly, <laughs> but having a, prod, a, a product that can be flexible enough to handle all of those new additions um, in, a, in, a, in a timely fashion, in an, in an easily expandable fashion, um, it was really important. And, and those were some of the major issues that we had with some of the other products were that they just weren't as flexible. And um, I know a lot of people are probably tired of me saying it, but uh, the, to me, the only limitation that you have with this, these ISM products is your imagination. So how we're using ISM in our environment is um, we, we, we support uh, about 2,400 individuals. And I want to say that what makes, you know, everyone thinks that they're kind of vertical is, is special. Um, but to me, the legal vertical is very special. And I say that because, and, and again, I, I, I repeat this numerous times to anyone that I talk to, what makes the vertical for legal so much more different, difficult, fulfilling than so many other verticals is if you think about big tech, you know, Microsoft, Google, all those things, you'll never get a phone call from Bill Gates or, you know, any of those folks. Um, you won't get a call from someone probably within five or six levels of Bill Gates. And hospital verticals, you never talk to the board of trustees and um, finance, you never talk to the owners or, you know, whatever it is. But for a law firm, you're gonna talk to however many partners make up that, that law firm um, the actual owners, the builders um, of, the, of that firm, 
they're across the hall from you. So it's a different type of environment. And so when you think about something, you know, we've, we've all used the term white glove service. Um, when you think about white glove service, the legal vertical embodies that because you're, you're, you're assisting the actual owner of the company or one of the owners of the company at any given moment. And there's a different level to that. And so, you know, having the tool, the right tool that, that can service that type of industry has to be flexible. Um, it has to be robust enough to be able to handle all types of different variations that may come up. Avanti has helped me overcome some challenges in the legal industry because, because we are so um, security driven, um, we face audits regularly uh, where we have to produce evidence that we are um, certified, because of our ISO certification and uh, other certifications and just regular audits for our clients, we have to prove and provide, uh, um, provide evidence that we are doing what we say we are doing to keep their data um, safe. Um, so having a lot of the tools that we have that capture things um, in such a precise manner um, has made that a lot easier to produce. So the, the impact that we found um, from Ivanti Service Manager was day one, there was, I want to say it had to be at least a 100% a increase in our actual ticket counts, meaning that a lot of the, the, the teams or some of the global offices that were not entering tickets because um, either the, the distance was impacting the system itself, so it was too slow or um, too cumbersome or whatever the case was, it was, or it was too confusing to create a ticket day one we noticed everyone was contributing. Um, so the, again, that flexibility of being able to design things or um, design options or service requests specific to teams that um, wanted to input their information, but just, I don't have time for this. So um, it day one, we noticed a, a ridiculous spike in, in the participation, um, which was exactly what we needed. Um, offices that I, we'd see maybe 50 tickets in a month, we were seeing 50 tickets a week. So it's a good thing because it means that people are actually tracking their productivity. People are, are entering tickets, um, and these the 100% the increase in the ticket count is not coming from callers calling to complain or callers saying that they have a problem or incident. It's individual departments who actually have information that is, is important that we have a timeline on entering their work product. Even if it's that, um, hey, I, I would send 10 emails that I need to knock to create this or create this distribution group or move this over here or you know, um, pull PCs out of an OU. Now there's a quick service request that they click one button, it asks for the name of the server and the OU you wanna remove it from, you hit submit and it goes, and then right away someone serve, you know, actions it and you get the, the completion back, the notification of the completion back. You don't have to go look at an email. You don't have to, you know, go back and forth. Oh, what, you, what, did, what information did you need? I didn't include that this time. Oh, I'm so sorry. The service request captures all of that information for them to make sure that no information is missed. It makes it make sense to use the product. Um, and before it was, if it takes me 10 minutes to create a ticket to include all this information that I need, I'm not going to do it. So now those engineers who never wanted to create these tickets can now create a service request that has a huge automated workflow behind it that takes the place of back and forth through 10 emails. So it simplifies their process, records their productivity, and it's just a better tool for them.